What's up guys? In this video I'm talking about uh, Honda or KTM and how it's going to work is I'm going to go inside. Joe's going to come out here and review my bike, the Honda. And then when he's done with that, uh, them birds are fighting. <laughs> when he's done with that, I'm going to come out here and he's going to go in and we're going to, or I'm going to review his bike. Let's start with Joe. So here we go. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Alright guys, so I'll be doing the review on Austin's 2014 250 with his dual exhaust, which is about the only thing that this Honda's got going for it is the dual exhaust. They had to stand up somehow against KTM. Honestly, I've had multiple Hondas before. It's kind of what I started out on. Um, I switched to KTM because of the Honda shop that we have in this town. Um, they honestly don't know what they're doing. So with having a KTM shop, I had to switch and they definitely hook us up. With Hondas, there's a billion of them on Craigslist and majority of them are probably going to be bored out loud four strokes ready to blow up um i know austin loves his honda but i'd stack up ktm against it any day you're just going to end up being the goon on the track with blue jeans and a wife beater on laying it over in the corners but i mean hey if you want a honda then that's what you're getting and with it being four stroke, um, what is it, KTM and Yamaha they are the only ones making two strokes still. That's another perk about KTM. Um, I mean, these four strokes are all right, but I'd choose two stroke any day, whether it's on the woods, on the track. Because if you're in the woods, then if you want, you can just keep it low into the gear, bogged down if you want, and then when you really want to get in the power, you can. Whereas four stroke, it's always there. As for resale value and parts, KTM parts are gonna run more expensive, but KTMs have good resale value. Whereas uh, Hondas, like I said, there's probably a billion of them on Craigslist. Just waiting for a home, waiting for someone to blow them up. Two strokes, cheaper to rebuild. All you gotta do is mix gas. People think, oh, well, I don't wanna mix gas, so I'm not gonna get two stroke. That's, an ex that's just an excuse. Two strokes? Mixing gas takes like an extra 30 seconds before you fill up. And so if you're going to use that as an excuse, that's nothing. And I know we'll probably have a billion people comment, Well, I'm 5'10 and I weigh 123 pounds. What would you recommend? Honestly, test out a bike. See what fits good. Depending on how fast you want to be. And I know a lot of 14-year-old Honda fans are being like, Well, I bought a 450 and that can kick the 125's ass. Well, no. Those are people, these Honda fans, thinking that it's all about the bike and not the rider. But that's a different story. Honda's got cool plastic. If all you care about is plastic looks, they look cool. But for the people thinking you got to be a certain height, certain weight, you know, d don't ask. It's, just, it's about, like, how experienced you are. I'm hoping to move up to, like, a 152 stroke or one of those KTM 200s. I'd rock a 254 shirt. It's, there's not a certain weight and height for what bike you need to be getting. So Honda fans, don't comment that, please. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Get a KTM, I guess. All right, guys, this is Joe's bike. <clears throat> it's a 07 125SX. First of all, KTMs are beasts in the trails. Um, definitely, I think they are a leader. Uh, and the hair scrambles and all that stuff they come ready to race this one's an SX but he has the 18 inch rear wheel on there and rather than 19 and a uh, I'm not sure what he's got geared on there but uh, seems to do well in the trails he's got the hand guards of course and uh, the skid plate that skid plate isn't actually for his bike but he um, he got a new one but he zip tied that one on for now <coughs> And the trails KTM, that's the way to go. Because KTMs hold the resale value too, so if you want to sell it on Craigslist or whatever when you're done uh, and you want to get a new bike, 
um, the value of these things pretty much holds well uh, compared to all the other bikes. So super reliable bikes too. Um, I know that he had uh, he had no seven. This one's actually no nine, I think. He had no seven a while back, and um, I know that thing was a solid bike. He put so many hours on that thing, and uh, I think he rebuilt the top end near the end of its life, but right before he sold it. But yeah, super solid bike. Starts up every time. It is a two-stroke. Uh, I do like how they have like a bunch of motor space right there, so it just gives that bike <clears throat> a light feel. It's actually probably really light anyways but um yeah like i said ktm is the way to go for the trails honestly my next bike is probably going to be a ktm uh because I'll, i really um focus on riding trails so uh probably just going to get like a 16 xc or something but you really can't go wrong i know they come with electric start nowadays on pretty much every single one um, and they actually got lighter with the electric start rather than the kick start, which is kind of cool. So they're definitely a leader in the industry. And um, if you're on the fence about getting a new dirt bike and you don't even know what kind you want, hold on, there's a big ass trash truck coming. So if you're on the fence and you don't know what you want, KTM is the way to go. I know I got a Honda, I know it's kind of contradicting, but it is what it is. KTM is the way to go. It's prices uh the parts are a little more expensive i think than the than the other bikes but they're really good quality they're and also you can get pretty much any part you want so you can get this orange that orange those orange this orange that orange you can get anything anodized orange pretty much you just go down to your ktm dealer and uh they'll have it all ready for you i know um compared to topeka power sports is what our honda dealer is here ktm cycle zone ktm shout out cycle zone uh it's like 100 times better um <clears throat> in every aspect so ktm the way to go i know i'm talking up ktm but it is what it is i love my bike don't get me wrong there it is uh if you have any comments uh, i'd like to know what you think honda or ktm drop it in the comments let me know below um give your opinions and like and subscribe thank you